could be the day you take that all-important first step toward pursuing and living the life you really want. Yeah. Here to help us create a stellar beginning is life coach and illuminator, Fran Zone. Hey, Hi, Fran. Fran. How are you? Welcome back. Good to see you guys. Hi, Fran. So, we've got to ask you, now, what is the biggest misconception about women not pursuing their dreams or trying to pursue Most of us believe we have to know exactly how to do every step before we take step one. You don't need to, new, to know step five for step one. Okay. Step one will create step two and step three. So you don't start and we don't get a stellar beginning. If you decide you're ready for something new, you're good to go. Okay, so what is step one? Step one is deciding I'm ready for a new adventure. It's time to live my life. Also, in this economy, we're all ready for a new adventure. Yeah. We all may be needing to start a new adventure. So one of the uh, things I did was I talked to some women at Peekaboo. And I asked them, what are they doing? What would they like to do? And I found women in different stages of what they're ready to do. And they are creating stellar beginnings. OK. But before we talk to some of these women, I want to talk about step two and three, like the key three main steps. The, first, the second one is declare. Like state your intentions to others. Like tell people what you want. Yes. Remember we talked about don't be an ASP? Yeah. Aspiration yes, language. Yes. I'm trying to do something. I'm hoping to do it. That's not a declaration. You won't start. But if you say, I'm ready to learn how to start an online business. I'm ready to start something at home. Then someone's going to say, come with me. I know someone you should know. Uh, right. And the next and thing you know, you've got people pulling you along to pursue it, which is step three. That's right. Three. So you decide, you declare, and then you pursue. Because right. then you're connecting. Gotcha. Then you're moving along. Okay. And then op doors might open, opportunities may follow. It just kind of They always the do. Away. And the other thing, Janelle, that women do is we think we have to figure it all out. Mm. Where men make teams, why can't we create teams of people that will help us build it? Because right. some of it can be figured out as you go along. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's hear from some of these women uh, from what? Peekadoodle? Peekadoodle. Okay, yeah. and the first one is Norma. I would like to be able to write a book, a children's book. And that's one thing I would love to, if I could do that, I, I would love to do that. I think that's the dream of many women. Yeah. They would love to write a book, a cookbook, a children's book. I mean, what, what would you suggest? Who would be a better storyteller than a nanny? Norma's a nanny. She's been a nanny for 15 years and a teacher for 20 before that. She's mm -hmm. talked to hundreds of kids. She wants a children's book. But here's where she has yet to decide. The word that was key was love. I would love to write a book. That's when she was connected. Yeah. But when I don't know and I hope I will and if I can, yes. there we go into that ask language again. No. Okay. So but she needs to say, I'm going to start telling children's stories and find the best ones that children love the best and share them with people. And then someone will say, that should be a book. Yeah. But the you next see? woman, though, is already on her path, right? Oh, yes. Ellen. Ellen, Ellen the, owns Pikachu. She's one of the founders of Pikachu. Uh -huh. And what does, she, what does she want to accomplish? Well, first of all, when you walk in, it's, you're in Playland. It is such a fantastic space. And she's created something 10 months ago, worst economy to start a business. Mm. All right? And she's been able to keep it because it's a good idea, and she's declared it. What she now wants to do is think about more Picadoodles, more locations. Right. And with people in retail spaces becoming available at a very good price, okay. she could build her business. Let's see what she, she has to say. From okay. her. And if there's a mom watching, or a, a woman entrepreneur, or a man entrepreneur watching, who's interested in creating a franchise, is that something you're interested in? Yes. Yes. We are always taking names and business cards and um, and it's always, you know, of course it's always easier to partner up with somebody who's really passionate about what they want to do and I think that's how we've come this far. You know, Kayla and I are really um, passionate about what we're doing. So if there's someone watching now who may have been laid off, mm -hmm. whose husband may have been laid off, mm -hmm. or who's looking to start a business, who has an empty nest, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you interested in hearing from them if they'd like to start a franchise? For sure. Yes. So that might be your next stellar beginning. Yeah, exactly. See that right. smile? She's declared who she wants, what she needs, and there may be someone in another city somewhere that has space that mm -hmm. they could turn into a peek-a-doodle. Mm. Okay, Franzone, we want a stellar beginning. More yeah. advice.